Hey guys, it's uh, Shahzib Afridi from Game Logics, and uh, this is uh, part two of our uh, Ludo game. So let's get started. So if you remember, in the first part, we have created our uh, sound manager uh, for our game, but. Uh, we had left some things so let's do that so write some so let's write uh, some code because we are not calling this uh, add audio method from anywhere okay so we will call uh, this uh, method from our start method and for every specific uh, sound okay so uh, what we need basically is uh, like uh, yeah button we have our uh, sources we have our audio sources so and this method also returns an audio source so we can call this method from our but uh, uh, we can call it here okay so add audio and it takes three parameters audio clip is going to be our button audio clip and we don't want uh, our button audio clip to be played right away okay when uh, when we start our game because uh, these are some particular sounds uh, which we want them to be played whenever we perform a specific action like when we roll our dice then we want our dice sound to be played or if for example a player wins the game then we want our win sound to be played okay not in the beginning of the game okay so whenever uh, we trigger some kind of action and the respond in the response of that action we want those sounds to be played okay so that's why i'm going to pause it false and we don't want our sounds to be played repeatedly okay so we want them to be played only once okay so the loop is also going to be false and for sound it's a float value so i will pass it 1.0 f okay so we have set our sound for our button and same goes for our dismissal uh, audio source and for the rest okay it's going to be the same now it's uh, our uh, dismissal audio source audio clip sorry dismissal audio uh, clip yeah and it's also going to be false and the third one is going to be false and okay and uh, dice for our dice audio source um, it's going to be our dice audio clip and false false and then for our win winning audio source okay and the fifth one our safe house Uh, safe house audio clip falls falls and then one okay and uh, f is a post fix for our float floating type fields or you can say variables so this is it this is uh, the last one what I did add audio and it's going to be our player clip 
audio clip false false the fourth one is going to be volume yes yeah, so this is it okay this is all we need for our sound manager okay so let me create uh, our main menu uh, a script for our uh, main menu and I'm going to okay so just bear with me just follow me along the tutorial tutorials and uh, all the things will become clear with the passage of time okay so don't worry about anything and let me name it main menu uh, manager and I'm going to create a script for our main menu oh shit what I did I need to delete this folder I need to create a script not a folder main menu uh, manager okay so this is it and let's assign our main menu manager to our main menu manager game object okay so it is assigned so let's code our main menu manager so <clears throat> Here we are for our main menu manager and let me format it. So for our uh, main menu manager we don't need these two methods so let me get rid of them. And we need a static variable because we want uh, this field or variable to have only exact copy for whatever for how many of our if we create at least hundreds of uh, main menu manager game objects or whatever might be uh, uh, the number of our main menu uh, manager objects we are not concerned with it okay so we want this field or variable to have exact one copy okay so that's why it is going to be static uh, and how many players like if like we want to play two player game three four okay so how many players and then we need a public method a public wide method two players and uh, I will link these methods uh, with their uh, with proper buttons okay we will create a canvas uh, for our game and like two player button three player button okay so i will link these methods with those buttons okay so let's worry about them uh, in the later videos so i am going to create a sound manager uh, dot uh, yeah so as you can see i haven't created an object for our sound manager that's why our sound manager has these static fields okay these are the static fields so we can call them without object and uh, calling a static field uh, can be done by uh, calling by mentioning name of the class and then with the dot operator okay so button audio source dot play it's a method that will play uh, the audio clip that is linked with our button audio source okay and how many players we will uh, initialize here two okay so players are going to be two and we will switch to another scene 
so for this we need a scene manager we don't have the scene manager here scene i think i need to import yeah uh, uh let me create uh, let me import the namespace uh, unity engine dot scene management okay we need this without this we are not possible to uh, write the script because the methods and the things that we require for our uh, uh, scene to be switched okay they are present in the scene management class now we will be able to have our scene manager yeah we got it okay scene manager and it's it has a function of load scene okay and uh, it takes a string parameter okay so we will pass the name of our scene here and it should be exactly the same as we are going to name our uh, second scene to be whatever you want to name it you can do whatever you whatever name you like okay you can give it i am going to name it uh, ludo scene okay so this is it for our this uh, method two player method and three players the same goes for our three players so let me copy this code and paste it right here what are you only copied this what the hell is wrong with I don't know what is wrong with my mouse. <sighs> Sometime this thing drives me crazy. Okay, so, and the players are going to be three yes this is our and the same is going to be our fourth method four player method okay so we are done with the methods and we need one more method it is going to be public wide uh, quit okay and because sometimes we might change our mind like uh, we oh, we clicked on the game uh, like we have intention to play the game but suddenly we change our mind and we don't want to play the game so we will click simply the quiet button and we will uh, get out of there okay so here uh, we need our sound manager like if we click on the button we want a sound to be played so this is it okay so this sound uh, the sound that is attached the audio clip that is attached with button audio source it will be played and then i need a namespace for uh, what i am going to do now and that namespace is unity editor okay 
so you need to import this uh, namespace and we will check if we are in the play mode if we are in the play mode and is playing it's a property you can see is editor currently in play mode okay so if it our editor is in the play mode if it's true there is no need to write uh, this okay but i like uh, to be more explicit so if it's true we will simply do what we will simply make it uh, oh no is playing we will simply assign false to our is playing okay and uh, it will simply uh, exit the play mode so this is it for this tutorial and don't worry about uh, this like we haven't checked anything but all these things will work properly okay inshallah all these things will work properly uh, and uh, because we haven't uh, created our canvas and uh, probably uh, in the next tutorial i am going to do that okay i am going to do uh, that i am going to create the canvas for our game and then we will test out uh, this code so if you really like my video don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon okay for the notifications and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial